You've met those struggling singles. Now it's time to meet their parents. And trust me, once you meet these parents, things will begin to make a lot more sense. <laughs> meet Bennett Harrison, a Grammy Award winning producer and Rocky's dad. Oh, ho, ho. all present and accounted for, baby. So, are you single and ready to mingle? Single? You're the one that invited me here alongside my beautiful wife. Do I look like a bachelor to you? Been married for two whole decades now. Going long, going strong. Hope all the romantics out there aren't too disappointed to hear this, but the finely aged wine that is Mr. and Mrs. Harrison are off the market. This is one D that you can't if. You heard it here first, people. Long and strong. Huh. I wonder if his wife agrees. Why don't we find out? Meet Priska Harrison, an award-winning sculptor and Rocky's mom. Sculptor is a bit reductive, in my personal opinion. I prefer experimental artist, if I were to put myself into a box. But Rocky's mom is fine, right? If you feel so inclined, sure. Rocky is my son, among others. Too many to count, really. Five. It's five. We can count to five. Five children of my flesh, yes. But my four beautiful sons and my sturdy, reliable daughter aside. Yeah. I have even more children born of my id, Mm. refined by my ego, and given form by my hand, than any person could count. And why would you care to count Mm. Mm -hmm. any person when confronted with a rose bush would rather quantify the individual petals then embrace the wilting beauty before them <sighs> is simply not a person worth my time okay as an as Rocky's mom artist and poet let's leave it there right honey so it's safe to say you two are married <clears throat> we're partners in all things yes Marriage, the least interesting of them, in my opinion. Nothing but a cage of expectation and duty, gilded with tax benefits, and sealed with a diamond ring. Comfortable, yes. Yeah. But Mm -hmm. uninteresting. Oh, okay. Docile. Like a wolf, domesticated into a pug. There's um, little okay. life. Yeah, she's been them. talking for like I'll thirty minutes left. straight. Uh, what breath of did she breathe in between those? Have I swear she didn't breathe in between those sentences. She talking, talking, bro. She got lungs. Uh, I mean, all I did was ask her a simple question. Like no. she's going on and on. She's telling me her whole synopsis story is going on right now. I'm kind of invested, but like I don't know half the words she's saying to me. Those artistic collaborations of our youth. Our personal like bohemia of sculpture like, and sound. No. Mm, that was something to see. It was electric. It was uh-huh. sublime. Okay, I think she's taking a breath. Hold on. But all no, she's sight more. Okay. fades, wilts like the aforementioned rose bush. Yet... If you were to press one of those pristine petals into your sketchbook, even life as a housewife can become tolerable. That's a fairy tale marriage for you, am I right? All right. <laughs> Please tell me that didn't push us over for time. Let's move along. Meet Brian, a biomedical engineer and a Rehe's dad. Hey, everybody. I'm Brian. I just said that. (laughs) I guess so. Are you single? No, I mean, no, I I am happily married. Are you sure? 
Yes, I love my wife very much, but it's hard uh, not to feel the marriage is one-sided sometimes. And, uh, you know, our, our only son hates me. Uh, so. uh, 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 that's too much information. On to the next pilf. Meet Bernard Smallson, your favorite local barber. Hey, everyone. <laughs> How's it going? I got to bring a friend to the shop right now. You bring your boy, get your haircut half off. <laughs> that sounds like a deal. But on to more important matters. Are you single? <laughs> Did my lady set you up to say that? Lady? I know how she is with her tests. And no, I am not single and I'm not looking. <laughs> Even when she nags. Aw, how romantic. I love her. I really do. And she's my purpose. Aww. Meet Helen Cersei, the baddest travel nurse in the East Coast, and Yolanda's mom. And don't forget the most fashionable, too. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Name's Helen. I already... Don't try it. Oh, yes, ma'am. Well, I've asked all my guests this. Um, are you single? Oh, who's asking? Oh, <laughs> I mean, no, I'm happily married. Are you, are you sure about that? Oh, don't you dare question my marriage. Oh, oh, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I love Lionel. I adore him. I just like to have a little fun, that's all. So is your marriage open? That answer is between me and my husband. And the men and women in my Instagram DMs. <laughs> okay, uh, note taken. Let's move on. Now to meet our final pilf. Meet Lionel, an award-winning poet from France. Did the room just get hotter? Anyone else feeling it? <laughs> <clears throat> so, are you single? Heavens no. I'm happily married. My wife Helen, the moon to my stars, is the best gift I could have ever asked for. Oh, because when I asked her if she was married... Let's not... <laughs> bring negativity into this interview. I am not single, nor am I looking. My wife is all that I need. Oh. However, she does travel a lot. I miss her sometimes. I have good company when she's not around. Um, so, who's your special friend? Oh, he... <laughs> I'm afraid I've said too much. Wait, wait, we we're just getting into I it. I fear we've run out of time. Farewell. Huh? Well, folks, that's been your struggling pilfs. Who's your favorite? Well, folks, that's been our struggling... Your, it's not our, they're not mine. I wish they were mine. Especially Lionel. Lionel sounds hot. 